Oh, we're doing a little bit different this morning. We got two roosters that we finna butcher this morning. Right here. And uh, I know normally people say, well, why aren't they in the fattening coop or cleaning out coop? They were. <laughs> we just let them loose yesterday so they can do a little bit of fraternize with the hens. And we finna get them this morning and uh, get them ready for the freezer. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, so we done dispatched both roosters. Um, got the hot water going. I'm gonna pull that out in a minute, set it up here on the table. Me and my daughter, we're gonna take and uh, give them a nice hot bath in that water and pick them. Then, uh, like I say, as the video go, we'll show you um, how we cut up the chickens and everything like that. Um, just nerves moving. It's dead, it's just nerves right there. But y'all stay tuned or whatnot. And uh, hashtag in the face, baby. All right, we got uh, our hot water here. And again, our roosters have been dispatched. I want to show you guys also the uh, knives that we're going to be using this morning. Oh, boy. We got our outdoor edge set. We got uh, the caper knife, the skinner. Right here with the gut hook, the boning, and the butcher knife. We're also probably going to use these uh, shears this morning also. But uh, we're going to get them going. These two knives I'm going to use this morning also. I done had these things right here for probably 15 years. And they still, I mean, sharp as can be. So me and my daughter will be using these right here to get those roosters cut up and put inside bags and everything. So... Follow him along. Here we go. Yeah. Get him in there. Submerged all the way down. And again, these aren't going to be like really, really big meat chickens. Like I say, we uh, actually hatched these in an incubator or whatnot. That's what, not even a year They're old? They're only about six months old. About six months old. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's perfect right there. Draining. Because you don't want that hot water to fall on your foot. Woo! All right. Bring them on over here. Oh yeah, and we start to go and give me that trash can. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Fifteen minutes ago, guys, he was sitting out there crowing. And again, we couldn't show how we uh dispatched them or whatnot but he is dispatched baby look at that chicken wings all day and the good thing with these not being that old you know what i'm saying they'll be a lot tender and everything to cook so Come off really good. I'm saying the only thing a drawback, some people be like, well, I just rather skin the chicken. That's good, but I was raised where we left the skin on the chicken. And we just dipped them in hot water and we plucked them. And it does create, like I said, this is a uh a, a way you have to do it where you really have to be moving because the feathers, once they get cool, they will stick. So you get all you can on your first run. All the feathers you possibly can before you re-dip them. Normally, like I say, it should only have to dip a chicken maybe 
twice the initial and then one after that to get the other feathers loosened up that you uh, missed. But look at that. We're going to take him on down to his socks. It's crazy that people see these big roosters and chickens and or whatnot walk around the, the yard. And then whenever you take all the feathers off of them, you stuck with this. A skinny dwinny, as mama used to say. Look at that. But again, this is the process that you want to get all the feathers you possibly can off that first run, off that first dip in that hot water. Because remember, whenever you go and you keep dipping your chicken, keep dipping your chicken in that hot water, you're cooking him. You might as well just leave him in there and throw some potatoes and corn and onions in there and just eat him out the pot. So that's why you want to minimize how many times you put him in that pot and go. I don't know how long I should have timed it that's what i should have did see how long it took me to get to this point right here but i think i'm moving pretty good for an old man that hadn't done this in years and get right up in there again just get as much feathers as you possibly can and having a clean board here will definitely help out. We get that water hose and spray that down there in a minute. But yeah, we butchered these two roosters because one, we still stay in a residential neighborhood and they're crowing like all day, every day. The neighbors haven't complained or anything because we give a lot of free eggs out. But um, they were starting to attack my wife and my daughter for some reason. I guess testosterone was through the roof, but it's no more. I'm gonna go for that second dip. This will also, like I say, loosen up those feathers that we could not get, and it'll help clean some of the feathers that I didn't, that I did pluck, that I couldn't wash off or whatnot. So, all right, I'm gonna take him on out. And that's only my second dip in it, in that water. So let's go and get him back over here, finish up this plucking. Yeah, these will be some perfect eating chickens right here. Let me put both of these in a pot together. Gonna we'll make us some stewed chicken and rice, baby. That yard bird, yard pimp. Like I say, see all the little feathers? We gonna go, like I say, he's drying really fast. So I'm gonna show you guys what a pin feather looks like. We're getting all these main feathers off of him. But chickens have what they call these pin feathers. And it stems from whenever they were like uh, really small. And uh, again, they aren't even a year old. So those pin feathers are still going to be there. And we're taking swinge those feathers off of them with a, a quick little torch. About as good as I can get him, you know what I'm saying, exception of a few feathers. But see, we have these feathers here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Mm -hmm. We have those, call those pin feathers. And they're really hard to find. Like I said, you can sit here, but it's almost having to pull out everyone all single handle. And we're not going to do that. We're going to use this uh, mount bottle here and swinge them off very quickly. Now, this is something you want to move quick with. You definitely don't want the heat staying in a localized spot too long so again but before we did this and got this point you see me taking we uh basically just pluck this chicken all the way and then we let him air dry and let those pin feathers come up so now i'm gonna get ready to hit him here 
See, all we're doing is just going around it really nice and fast. All we're doing is swinging those pin feathers down. Get up in there between those armpits and that breast right around the neck, right around the legs there. And remember, before you get ready to cook the chicken, I hope most of you people and guys take and clean your chicken inside of the uh, sink, pull off the rest of the feathers that's left, but that's it. Go ahead and cut that off. Set this over here. I'll go ahead and take and grab my knife real quick and cut these. feed off right here at the joint There we go. Now again, YouTube won't let us show all the guts and stuff like that, but we'll bring you guys right back whenever we get in, uh, get that part done and bring you guys and show you how we cut him up. All right, stay tuned now. So, like I said, we didn't show you guys, but I cut this rooster up the back. We still got some more cleaning here to do, get some of them lungs out of there. But this is him, I split him up the back here. And there's his front. So I'm gonna go through the process of cutting him up really quick. We have a drumstick here. Gonna come right from the back of that leg right there. Find that joint right there. It's one drumstick. Close that joint right there. Come right around the front of that thigh. Got your two drumsticks. Now we're gonna come right here in that pocket for this thigh here. The thigh is connected right to the that backbone. And we're gonna take this one with the backbone, this piece here, with the backbone here. There's your nice thigh right there. And this one just come right around that. There's your second thigh right there. All right, let's get these wings out of here. If you come right around that socket, right here. It'll start to fillet open. And there's that joint. Find it, cut it right there. Show a nice wing right there. Come on over to the second one. Kind of push over. Come right around that neck. And that joint should expose itself. There it is. So everything, if it's a moving part, of the body it has a joint to it if you can hit it it turns out a lot better whenever you cut meat up and everything so here's the breast you can do this many different ways you can split this breast right down the middle right here um or like i say we'll go ahead and get this neck on out of here let me switch knives for that neck right here we'll pull that skin on off of there got your neck right there again as you can see we got some lung still left in here we get that out of there and we can actually leave this breast the way it is but we're not we're going to take and split it right 
right down the middle like that. That breastbone, that what they call it, the wishbone, is the hardest part of this. And that's it. So I'm going to try some. I haven't used these shears yet. So I'm going to use these shears. Come on. Okay. Oh, yeah. They cut that bone. Yeah, you can hear it cut right there. Cut that skin. And there we go. There we go. KFC will be calling us today. They need an order. So, there we go. Got two breasts right here. Both drumsticks. Both wings. The neck, thighs, right here, baby. It's ready to go to the sink in the house, get cleaned up a little bit more, seasoned up, and add it right to a pot with some gravy, some dry rice, a little bit of potatoes and onions. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. Hashtag in the face. My kids over there working on that one right there. There you go. Go ahead. Yes. All right, like I say, we just cleaned them up a little bit more, rinsed them on down, and uh, you guys seen the process. Like I said, it's not a real hard process. Whenever we finally move to our farm um, and everything, we're gonna have a ton of chickens that we're gonna be doing this way or whatnot, because you all know how expensive chickens are in a supermarket. And when you got farm fresh chickens like this, you can't beat it. No steroids, none of that harmonia crap that they put inside the chickens to puff them up, but here we go, baby. We just bagging them on up, bagging them, tagging them. There you go. You can't beat that. Again, you guys like, share, and leave a comment or whatnot, and let us know what you think. Hashtag in the face, baby.